Good evening. Albuquerque police tonight identified the woman struck and killed by a car full of Kirtland airmen. She was a mother of two walking home. News 13's Marissa Lucetto spoke to her family. She's live near Gibson and Louisiana. Marissa. Dean Jess, police called this crash scene one of the worst they've ever seen. Now the family is left with a lot of questions. It still doesn't seem real. I was in total shock. Or right for the Calcutt family to have to build okay. Here's that one. a makeshift memorial for a loved one taken too soon. I thought there's no way. Saturday night, police say a preliminary investigation shows two cars were likely racing north on Louisiana near Ross when one of those cars hit a woman in the middle of the street, then crashed into some nearby apartments. The woman died on scene. Two days later, the area is still covered in debris and surrounded by a family mourning the loss of Angelica Baca. I mean, she was young. She left behind two children that they're going to grow up with without no mother. The family says the 39-year-old was walking home from a meeting. More than 30 officers responded to the crash. Tonight, like I said, every officer here hasn't seen something like this in their whole career. There's been a lot of guys here with a lot of experience. That was careless and senseless. A military spokesperson confirmed four airmen from Kirtland Air Force Base were in the car that hit Baca. Police are still investigating and no one has been arrested. Not realizing by the decisions that they're making, innocent people are getting killed. Three of the airmen were taken to the hospital Still no word on their conditions tonight. Now, APD has not said how fast the two cars were going or if Baca was using a crosswalk. As for that second car involved, police say it never stopped. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Marissa.